So this is my first YouTube video and the thing that I wanted to do for my first video is just kind of like show you guys some things I've thrifted recently um, and how I style them because styling is my favorite part of shopping because you get to find something and like make it your own and wear it the way that you want to wear it especially with thrifting because it might not be stuff that's like necessarily trendy or super fashionable because you might get stuff that's like old or vintage or just like not super in style and so with thrifting you get to like really make it your own and make it something unique and that's what I love um so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys and I'm just gonna kind of like show each item and talk about what I like about it you know cool so the first thing I want to show you guys is these free people corduroy flare pants they're kind of like a burnt orange color kind of brownish um and I thrifted them. They were a little expensive. I think they were like $20. But I looked them up and they're like $160 originally. Um, so $20 is a pretty good deal, I think. Um, and I just love how flared they are. And the like 70s vibe that corduroy flares have. Um, so I'm going to try those on for you guys real quick. So this is how I style the corduroy pants. Um, with this orangey pink. I don't know like, how to describe the color. It's like orangey, pinkish, beige-ish. Um, but it's very ruffled. Um, I have it tucked in a little in the front, but loose in the back. Um, and it's kind of like Velma, almost, with the color combo. Um, and then I have heels because it is very, um, they're very long and I'm very short. So I just have these floral stilettos with them. Um, so it's a pretty simple outfit, but I think it's cute. It's kind of a vintage vibe, 70s feel. Okay, the next thing is this um, thrifted top. I really like it because it's lace and it's like fully clip up. Um, and I just love the color. I think like a... Oh, hold it up my eyes so you guys can see better. I think a cream color is just so like elegant. Um, and white tends to wash me out, so I like better in cream. But I love the sleeves. Um, I love how like dainty it is. Um, and I'll try it on for you guys. This is the cream lace top. Um, I just put it with jeans. Um, and then the pink socks. Oh, and my socks have Patrick from SpongeBob, and they're also thrifted, but like three years ago, so they're nothing new. But I like to leave it a little bit undone and show some stomach, so it's a little scandalous. Um, but it also, I think, looks good, you know, done up a little more, like, all the way down. Um, and I'm running the sleeves a little bit off the shoulder, but I think they also look good on the shoulder. And it makes kind of a squarish neckline. Um, so overall, just a really cute, like versatile piece, um, since you can wear it multiple ways. Um, and it looks good however you wear it. Okay, so the next thing I have is one of my favorite things. Also, by the way, these are all from different thrift store visits. Um, so like the first pants are from a different thrift store than the first shirt. Um, and then this is from a vintage store in North Carolina, but it's a vintage, I would say probably 70s, maybe 80s based on the style, um, robe, and then nightgown, and I am a nightgown, I'm in my pajamas right now, but when I'm not wearing this little brandy set, um, I'm a nightgown girly, I love nightgowns, um, and I especially love this one just because it's so long, like I can't show you fully, but it's so long and so, and it makes me feel so elegant, so. I'll try it on and show you guys. Um, so this is the pink nightgown and the robe. Um, it goes all the way to the floor on me. Um, and it has two different places to tie the robe. So like through here and just pull it through the loop and tie it up. Um, and then also there's like a ribbon that goes through the back so you can kind of tie it tighter and cinch the waist. Um, and I just love wearing nightgowns and robes. It makes me feel like a ghost haunt you, you know? Um, so, yeah, cool. 
so the next four things are all from one like thrift shopping trip um and it is this little blue like lingerie top um i'm a firm believer that lingerie can be worn like with an outfit as long as you layer it right um and i love this top it's really cute i wore it to a concert um and got it really sweaty but <laughs> it's clean now um i got this top which is i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's black velvet which i love um and lace and it's banana republic it's really soft um I got this plain black little like top it ties up it looks sheer when I hold it up but when I actually wear it it's not sheer um and I got it for cosmetology school because you have to wear all black and most of my things that are plain black are tank tops so I got it to kind of fit the dress code and then my favorite thing I think from that trip was this shirt which looks very grandma, but I really like it. It has like a little um, birdhouse on it and like a scalloped hem and all the hems have that like scallop stitching. And it's just really cute. It makes me feel so cozy, like a little grandma. Um, so I'm gonna style all those and show you. Um, so this is the blue top style. I have on this blue gingham skirt. Um, One Direction top, both thrifted, um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this outfit before because I posted it, but it's really simple but cute, um, and shows how you can wear lingerie every day without it looking scandalous, um, like layering with a t-shirt or something. Um, so this is the outfit for the black velvet top, um, I'm wearing a skirt that's also black velvet, so you can't really tell, um, it's like mid shin length, but... The textures, they're like different textures of velvet, like this one's much smoother and this one's rougher. So in person, it's a really nice contrast, but you know, on camera you can't really tell, but I think it's pretty. It's a black tie up top on, um, and you can see it's not nearly as sheer as it looks on the hanger, um, or like when it's not on. So I'm not sure like what fabric it's made of that makes it that way, but um, like it looks sheer, but then on it doesn't look sheer. Um, but just tie it. I'm wearing it with a simple little black velvet dress. Um, I think the silhouette is nice, and I think that this makes it a lot more like classy and elegant. Um, so this is how I. I'm styling the white top, just the jeans and the pink socks. Um, and I have it tucked in, um, just for a little more shape. But I also think, like, if you just want to be more casual, it looks. I mean, it's just a T-shirt. Um, nothing special. Just that I think the little different colored scalloped hem at the neckline makes it kind of interesting but overall just a t-shirt nothing special but i think it's really cute i got this purple um top that's originally from h&m um and i don't really like purple i never really wear it it's one of my least favorite colors but i'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and explore my style more so purple yay and i do think it's really pretty it's like delicate um, and has lace. And then the next thing is very much in my comfort zone. And it's this um, little pink tank top. It's like checkered. And there's little bunnies on strawberries. Um, and I don't know where it's originally from because the tag's been cut out. But I'm guessing originally some sort of fast fashion brand. Probably Shein. Um, but it feels like pretty good quality. Um, and I don't mind buying secondhand fast fashion as, as long as it's a piece that I know I'll genuinely wear like for a long time, like this one. And it's so soft. It's like pajama soft, so I'll probably sleep in it a lot. Um, the next thing I got is this um, button up 
just look at it y'all it's got like ruffles it's got wide sleeves it's got lace at the bottom it's everything i love and it makes me feel like a pirate um or like um like a love interest in a period drama i'm about to confess my undying love to you mr darcy style you know so i really like the vibe of it um it's a little costumey um so i've been struggling with styling it but i don't i don't mind being a little too dressed up you know i got this black lingerie top which was originally a bodysuit but i cut out the crotch part because i hate bodysuits and they make me super uncomfortable um but it's sheer on the sides and in the back and then the front is this like I think maybe satin, um, it's like shiny fabric, um, and then lace at the top and the hem, um, and it's really pretty, and also the way that the, like, opaque part and the sheer part go together, like, makes you look really snatched, um, which I appreciate, because, um, it, like, it's a very flattering silhouette, I really like it. This one is not as flattering of a silhouette, but the lace is just so gorgeous. Um, it's another lingerie top, it's white lace, um, has a little pink bow, yeah, it's just really pretty, I love it. Um, I got this tank top, um, which is really simple, it's just like, oh, pink tank top with, oh, it's inside out, sorry, let me flip it. <laughs> it's just a pink tank top with lace trim. Um, I thrifted it, obviously, but it's an, originally from American Eagle. Um, and it's really thick. It's very supportive, um, which I really like and appreciate. Um, I got these shorts, which are a little big, but I'm probably going to alter them. Um, they're Gap brand, but they're, like, they're not denim, even though they're blue. They're, like, I don't know if I can show up on camera but they're blue corduroy um and they're really soft which i like this skirt is also corduroy but it's pink um and it's really wrinkly right now but it um has these different panels so it like spins when you spin it's really cute it, i like the way it sits um kind of like a pleated skirt but without the actual pleats and then i got this skirt which is not zipped up right now, but it um, is, I think it's from Romwe originally, um, which I didn't know people even still shopped at Romwe, but I guess they do. Um, it's got mushrooms, it's got a little slit, it's really comfortable, um, and I really like it. Then the last thing from this like section, this thrift shop trip is I think my favorite thing and it is this beautiful white lingerie top um but it it's short in the front but it gets really long in the back so it looks like a dress kind of from the back but it's white lace it's got these little pink sorry it's got these little pink bows that attach it um it's just it's just gorgeous i love it so much um oh i almost forgot there's one more thing that's not um a clothing item from that trip and it is this guy, my little pink clown. I collect clowns, if you guys didn't know. Oh, you can't see, hold on. Clown shelf, clown shelf, all my little clowns on the clown shelf. Um, we got another jeans outfit with a purple top. And I don't really wear jeans that much, um, but I just, I don't really have anything that goes with purple because I don't wear purple very much. So, if I didn't wear it with jeans, I'd probably wear it with like a plain black little mini skirt. Like, I think I have one over here, hold on. Like with this maybe, if I wasn't wearing jeans, but I think jeans just make it kind of casual um, and cool. I feel like I'm not cool enough for jeans, but I feel like jeans make an outfit look cool. This is the outfit for the um, bunny top. I'm wearing it with this pink skirt that I thrifted. Um, well, those are originally from Justice, but yeah, there's shorts under it. Um, and 
I don't know if I've said this, but everything in this video is thrifted, except the black um, velvet dress, the little mini dress. I got that new in the store, but everything else thrifted. So this is the bit for the pirate shirt. Um, I have these big baggy pants. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Um, they are like checkered um, and I love them just for anything like that like any top that doesn't look good with jeans or a skirt like these are my go-to pants because they're really easy to style with everything um, but they look kind of fancy like dress pants but they're not they're really soft and comfy and then if you want to go the pirate route with the shirt you can go little black boots or if you want to go the Mr. Darcy confessing his love in the rain, um, we got these little brown dress shoes. I don't know if you can see them, but um, that's the fit for the black lingerie top. It's just a little black mini skirt. Um, and I don't know if you can see, it is like see through all the way in the back um, and on the sides. So an alternate use for the black tie up top that I wore earlier. Um, would be with something like this, just to de-scandalize it a little bit, um, make it a little bit more dress code appropriate. Um, so I just want to know if this is something that I would wear, like to school, just because it's low cut and kind of short. But like for going out, I feel a little more comfortable for the white laundry top. And you're probably like another jeans outfit, what? But Hear me out. The album cover for Harry's house when he has like the baggy blue jeans and the white top with like, and his has little pink bows and mine has little pink bow. Like, do we see the vision? Okay. And then with this sweater and the pink dog. So this is another jeans fit, but this time we're double deniming it. So we have the same jeans from before. Um, with this denim vest that I have just added a bunch of patches and pins onto um, and in the back as well and then pink bag pink socks um, and then the pink tank top that I just did so I think this is a cute fit and very me because I love this vest it's kind of killing two birds with one stone um, but it's the Doris t-shirt as well as the blue cord shorts um, and they are too big for me so I have them actually tied up with a hair tie right now but I plan like tomorrow the next day to sew them up um, to where they actually fit but this is a super casual outfit like something I would wear if I was going like to Walmart maybe um, not super interesting but very comfy um, and cute enough you know this is another outfit with the Doris shirt but this time with the pink cord skirt, and you can see that it's like a lot of fabric, like it's very curly. Um, it's kind of short, but I don't think it's too short. Um, and I really like it. Here are the sunglasses. I think this is a good outfit to uh, demonstrate them with. For the mushroom skirt. Um, I wish I could get a better angle so you could see the length, but it's like mid um, shin as well. Just throw on a random black t-shirt. This one has an eye on it. Um, you could tuck it in or you could leave it loose. Um, and this is my favorite way to wear a long skirt just because it makes it a little more casual. Change the angle a little so that you can see how long this is. Um, but it's this so it stops like here like at the belly button and then trails back into the skirt behind it um and i have it over just like a little slip dress um but i don't wear that much because it has like a hole in it actually but i think with this like you can't see the hole and it's opaque underneath so it doesn't look too scandalous but just like i get not twirl when i wear it it's so beautiful and in general i can just make Oh, I also forgot, um, I got these on that same trip. 
um, wide heart-shaped sunglasses. The next ones are from the same haul as well, um, from like two days ago, and they're from the biggest vintage store I've ever seen. Like, I don't even know how to describe it to you guys. It was like three floors just packed. It's crazy. Um, but the first thing I got is this, um, Doors t-shirt, which I have been looking for one for a while, um, and haven't been able to find one, but there was a huge, like, t-shirt section, and there were so many that I wanted, obviously, um, because I listen to a lot of music, and I have quite an impressive collection of band shirts, um, maybe I'll do that for my next video, just show all my band shirts, but, you know, it's really cute, I like it, um, I love the doors, um, so I'm happy with that. The next thing is this vintage, it's definitely from the 80s because of the shoulder pads, oh wait, hold up, the lace part is inside out. Um, it's this polka dotted dress with um, a little collar and buttons um, and huge shoulder pads, but the thing that I love the most is that the heart, or the polka dots are hearts, so it's little hearts. Um, and I love it a lot, so I'll make sure and show you that to you guys. Um, I got this bag, which is not even really a bag, it's a box. It's like wooden, um, but I think it was originally a cigar box and someone turned it into a purse with this little beaded handle. Um, so it has a scene um, from Gone with the Wind with Scarlet and the dude. He, he's just Ken, you know? Like, it's Scarlet and the dude. He's not, uh, <laughs> but it's them. Um, and the way that it opens is there's like a little string that closes, or that you put over that, but there's also a latch. So it doesn't like open up because there's two different things. Um, and it is a cigar box. So it's wooden inside, it's lined with, like foam I think um but I think it's so cool that it's like a bag uh, and can be used that way um I think it's my favorite thing that I got I got this fabric um which is just like dead stock fabric like vintage um and it's like two by it said two by four yards but I feel like this is small like is this really four yards long like maybe I can't measure but I I think I was lied to um with the size of it but I'm, I'm thinking about making it just into like a little tank top um the next thing that I got are these two clowns obviously because I love clowns so I got this little guy um and he's got an umbrella and a hat um and I think he's really adorable. He still has the string on him from his price tag, so I'm going to take that off now and free him. Um, but there he is. He's really cute. And then I got this clown, um, and he's kind of dirty right now. He's kind of grimy. But I just love the colors. He's wearing, like, all pastels. Like, his top is green, his pants are blue, he has pink. And there's a little monkey eating a banana. Um, and I just think he's so precious and adorable. And I'm also going to free him from his price tag string um and my face wasn't in frame for a lot of that but it doesn't matter because the clowns were and they're much more important than my face so um the next thing i got was these shoes for three dollars um and they're so hilarious to me they're like platform sandals and they say fashion on the straps um and it's like white with red uh, soles, and then this is red velvet. It's really, or leather, but it's like so, really soft leather. It feels velvet, but I do think it's leather, or faux leather. Um, and they have these little charms on the ankles, um, and they say five, 5G, is that the brand? Probably, um, but they're really cool. And they were only $3, and I'm really happy with them. And then the next thing I got is 
not the vest itself. Um, I've had this for a while. My friend's mom gave it to me, but some of the pins on the vest, two of them I got on a Black Sabbath pin because um, I have dad taste in music and I love Black Sabbath. And then I got a The Who pin as well. nearly as loose as I thought it would be considering the tags are in size 14 and I would say this fits closer to like a 6 honestly like it's only slightly too big for me so it's crazy to see how um like vintage sizing is different than modern sizing oh and I almost forgot to try and show the bag with an outfit um so this is the Gone with the Wind bag with the 80s dress so this is the outfit that was the hardest for me to style. Um, it's to coordinate with the red and white fashion shoes. Um, just cause the shoes are so much, I didn't know if I wanted to like go along with the maximalism of them or go simple. So I went with simple, um, red for a skirt, red fishnet top, and a white bra. But I, was, I wasn't sure if it was too scandalous or not, so an alternate version would be same thing just with an added tank top so I got this one for thing um it's the brand pink house and it has a little cutie mayo baby on it which is so funny um and it's red in the back white in the front and I think it goes really well with the shoes um especially since I can tell that these are like an Asian brand probably Korean just for like like you can kind of just tell when something was manufactured in Asia, um, and then Pink House is a Japanese brand, so they're kind of the same style and go together. I don't know, but. So I just realized that I filmed the outro for my video upside down, so here I am like five hours later in my bed, um, just chilling in my pajamas. Um, so you get kind of a low effort outro for today, but thank you for watching my video. Um, I hope that you liked it. If you did like it, leave a comment. And if you didn't like it, leave a comment. Um, constructive criticism, ideas um, for what I should do next, um, whatever you guys want. Um, but make sure to leave a comment and let me know that people are actually watching. Um, 